As global interest in lunar exploration intensifies China is charting an ambitious path to the moon, one that includes building a nuclear reactor on the moon's surface. This bold initiative is part of their joint effort with Russia to develop the International Lunar Research Station, ILRS, a long-term scientific outpost near the lunar south pole, designed to operate autonomously and support a wide range of experiments, the ILRS could redefine international collaboration in space, and a lunar-based nuclear reactor may be the key to powering it all. According to a recent presentation by Pei Zhaoyu, chief engineer of China's 2028 Change 8 mission, the ILRS's energy infrastructure will combine large-scale solar arrays with a nuclear reactor placed on the moon's surface. The nuclear reactor is expected to ensure reliable long-term power generation in the challenging lunar environment, particularly during the two-week-long lunar nights. The ILRS is envisioned as a scalable and autonomous lunar base that will support a wide range of scientific and technological missions. Located near the moon's south pole, a region believed to contain water ice, the station, will facilitate studies in lunar geology, astrophysics, resource extraction, and moon-based Earth observation. Construction will take place in phases. A basic model of the station is expected to be completed by 2055, with a more expansive version targeted for 2050. The ILRS is also being positioned as a platform for future deep space missions and will foster broad international collaboration. China's 555 project aims to invite 50 countries, 500 scientific institutions, and 5,000 researchers to participate. Scheduled for launch in 2028, the Change 8 mission will play a pivotal role in preparing for the ILRS. The mission includes a lander, rover, and a multifunctional robotic unit to test technologies such as in situ resource utilization, ISRU. Experiments will focus on transforming lunar soil into building materials, potentially using 3D printing techniques to support sustainable lunar construction. The spacecraft will also carry about 200 kilograms of international scientific payloads, reinforcing China's commitment to global partnerships in space. China's lunar ambitions run parallel to NASA's Artemis program, which plans to return astronauts to the moon by December 2025. While the U.S. aims to establish a sustainable human presence, China and Russia's ILRS represents a competing vision, one powered, quite literally, by a nuclear reactor on the moon. As space powers race to build infrastructure beyond Earth, the moon is rapidly becoming the next frontier in geopolitical and scientific rivalry. Having successfully carried out its three-step lunar exploration of orbiting, landing, and sample return from the Earth's celestial neighbor, China is now implementing its Phase 4 lunar exploration program. Advancing the Kuikiao Communications, Navigation, and Remote Sensing Satellite Constellation, and planning the construction of the International Lunar Research Station, ILRS. According to Wu Wuiren, Chief Designer of China's Lunar Exploration Program, on Wednesday, Wu made the remarks on the sidelines of the International Conference on Developers of the ILRS, a seminar held in Shanghai on Wednesday, as part of the national celebration of the upcoming 10th Space Day of China that falls on Thursday. ILEOS is a China-initiated program that involves a multinational, comprehensive scientific research facility built on both the lunar surface and in lunar orbit. And it is designed for long-term autonomous operation. With short-term human participation, Wu told reporters at the seminar, the EELS is expected to be expandable and maintainable 
with ranging capabilities, including Earth Moon transportation, power supply, central control, communication, and navigation, lunar surface scientific exploration, and ground support. The ILRS will support sustained scientific exploration, resource utilization, and advanced technology verification through multidisciplinary, multi objective, and integrated scientific and technological activities, according to the scientist. Responding to a media inquiry about the latest progress of the China initiated ILRS, Wu shared more insights at the event by revealing that China plans to implement the ILRS in two phases. The first phase aims to complete the construction of a basic version of the station by 2035 and the second phase will focus on upgrading this foundation into an expanded version by 2045. China will launch the Change 7 lunar probe, a key part of the phase 4 of the country's moon exploration program by around 2026, aiming to achieve orbiting, landing and roving on the moon as well as leaping between locations on the lunar surface with a focus on exploring the environment and resources in the lunar south pole region. The Kuikiyautu Relay Satellite will provide communication services for the Change 7 mission Wu disclosed on Wednesday. The Change 8 mission to be launched by a Long March 5 rocket by around 2029 will be tasked to conduct experimental verification of insider resource utilization on the moon and the construction of a lunar-based terrestrial ecosystem, Wu said. The Change 8 mission will work in coordination with Change 7 and Kuikiao 2 to establish the basic model of the ILRS, he said. Elaborating on the Kuikiao constellation, Wu explained that it will consist of an integrated interplanetary communications and navigation network composed of lunar orbiters, spacecraft, at Earth-Moon Lagrange points, interplanetary relay stations and planetary orbiters. It will be capable of carrying out tasks such as communications, navigation and positioning, timing services and scientific exploration. China has already initiated a feasibility study for the Kuikiao constellation system. In the future, the Kuikiao network will serve not only as a communications bridge between the Earth and the Moon, but also as a comprehensive interplanetary communications, navigation and remote sensing constellation system, extending to Mars, Venus and other regions of the solar system, Wu announced. According to Wu, the ILRS initiative has received wide responses from many countries. To date, China has signed cooperation agreements with 17 countries and international organizations, as well as some 50 international research institutions. Wu described the approach to deepening international cooperation with the following words, joint consultation, joint construction, and shared benefits. Together with our partners, we are defining scientific and application goals, conducting site selection for the lunar surface and evaluating preliminary plans for scientific operation platforms, Wu said. Looking ahead, we will carry out joint engineering development, onboard engineering and scientific payloads, construct ground facilities, formulate international rules and promote talent education and training, Wu said. Adding that China will also share access to ground testing facilities, collaborate on scientific and application research, and share the resulting scientific achievements.